these children? Because how many of you adopted though? How many of you adopted though? How many of you adopted? Is it an irrelevant question? How many children have you adopted? How many have you adopted? None? I'm gonna guess none. Oh, well. You're okay. The answer is not to murder all No, instead, the answer is to put them into a foster care system to give this woman or make this woman live in poverty for the rest of her life. She can live in, she could live in poverty for the rest of her life, and then when she needs social programs because she can't afford to take care of her child, you are going to go into the voting booth and you're going to vote for legislators that cut those programs because there's no such thing as a pro-life legislator who doesn't believe in cutting social safety net programs. It doesn't exist. Okay, so your answer to it is let's murder all the babies. No, my answer is not let's murder all the babies. Calm down. When I watch a video like this, three things come to mind. First, while I share this woman's concern with the current state of the foster care system, she seems to conflate newborn adoption and foster care. These are not the same thing. She makes it sound like all babies who are given up for adoption land in the terrible foster care system, but it's not true. When a pregnant woman chooses adoption over abortion, she gets connected with an agency that helps place her child with a loving family. Her child is not fated to a forsaken life of foster care. So abortion, or foster care is a false dilemma. Second, how many babies an individual has adopted has nothing to do with the morality of abortion. Maybe an analogy will help. Imagine I ask, how many human trafficking victims have you taken in and cared for? Oh, none? Well then, you can't speak against the wickedness of human trafficking. Do you see how absurd that is? Just because someone hasn't taken in and cared for a human trafficking victim doesn't mean they can't speak against the wickedness of human trafficking. Likewise, just because someone hasn't adopted a child doesn't mean they can't speak out against the evils of abortion. And someone not adopting a child certainly doesn't justify an abortionist killing one before it's born. Third, it turns out there are plenty of pro-life people who have adopted or are willing to adopt. According to the National Council for Adoption, of the nearly 4 million American children who are born each year, only around 18,000 children are voluntarily given up for adoption. As a result, some estimate that there are dozens of couples waiting to adopt each available baby. Some pro-choice people want to paint all pro-lifers as merely pro-birth, but that's not true. Many pro-life people have stepped up to care for women and their babies. That's why there are more pro-life pregnancy centers that care for women and their children than abortion clinics. So whether someone has adopted 10 children or none doesn't change the fact that abortion kills innocent humans. And that's wrong.